ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is Teddy, and today we're going to be talking about the Asus Strix, no, not the graphics card, Tactic Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. So this is kind of strange with their naming, um, because there's also a mouse under the same name, and a headset under the same name, and of course a graphics card under the same name. So I guess they're wanting people, you know, the Strix thing is just going to be all their gaming products, I guess, across the board. Maybe they're just putting it under that name. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it, but uh, we're just going to talk about this one today, and maybe we'll cover the other ones in the future at some point. So we'll start off with the design. If you haven't noticed already, this thing is absolutely massive. Like, it's really long. So, design-wise, yeah, it is quite massive. Uh, there's a, a lot of macro keys down this end. Overall, it is quite chunky. Although, I think it's um, it's pretty solid. It, there's no like flex in it. It feels really well built. Um, it just seems kind of a bit plainish. Just because it's black everywhere. It's this matte black finish we've seen so many times. It's a bit uninspired. There's a bit of orange accents over this side. But overall, yeah, and of course the Strix logo. But overall, it just seems a little bit bland. A little bit uninspired. Um, comfort wise though, I could say it's very comfortable, I've been using this uh, for a couple of days now, like full time, gaming, everything, and it's been very comfortable, no complaints, and I'm someone who has really bad wrists as well, playing way too much StarCraft <laughs> a few years ago, uh, so that's a big thing coming from me, because a lot of, um, you know, gaming mice or keyboards that other people might just find slightly uncomfortable, they'll have a bigger effect on me. It also comes with a braided cable, which is always good to see, gives it a bit more of a premium feel. But overall, design-wise, it's uh, chunky, so you can see if we turn it around. You can see it's quite chunky, it's very big, um, it's pretty heavy as well, but overall I think it's pretty good. Uh, solid, but, you know, a little bit uninspired. Now let's get to the keys, it's kind of like the main thing with a mechanical keyboard. So. I'm very, very pleased in this department. So it's using Cherry MX keys, mechanical keys, which, as I've said so many times, are the absolute best. Just nothing comes close. Any of these other mechanical keys that manufacturers put out in their keyboards, they just don't come close. I mean, the G910s, the Orion Spark, if you go back to that video, I said it was pretty close, and that is true. It, it was close, but it still just isn't as good, you know? It's just not quite there. Um, Razer's keys, oh man, they're mechanical key switches, oh my goodness, they're not very good at all. But these, yeah, Cherry MX keys, uh, this one has got blues, because blues are my favourite, but it's also going to be coming in the usual suspects, reds, blacks, and browns, so if you prefer one of those uh, key types, then it's going to come in them, so that'll be good as well. Um, pretty standard in terms of layout, obviously, except for the macro keys, which we'll get to very soon. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's pretty standard layout. The keycaps are pretty standard as well. The anti-ghosting is fantastic. I didn't see any of it. So that was really good. I was really impressed with that. I mean, at this level of keyboard, you shouldn't really expect it. But sometimes you do get it, as uh, we saw when we did the Razer Black Widow video a little while ago. Um, the good use of media keys up here. So this is quite nice. So media keys, as I've said so many times to you guys, um, are really a good thing. I just always forget to use them. But for the people that do remember it, uh, these are really good. They're very slim down. They're not chunky. They're not in the way. And uh, I really like it like this, just kind of up there, out of the way, uh, nicely positioned. Now to the macro keys. So there are heaps. There's 21 macro keys. So obviously you see all the ones over here, and then they all come up across these uh, F keys as well. And there's three more down here on kind of like the wrist rest area. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to depend on the user if these are good or not. But honestly, uh, if you're not a person who uses macro keys, like you're an FPS gamer or you're just someone that doesn't use them, um, then... This is keyboard might be a little bit pointless for you because that seems to be where the main focus is um, It's not completely pointless, but it would be you know something it wouldn't really be worth buying it um, In my point of view if you're not going to use the macro keys However, if you are about macro keys, then this is going to be great for you 21. There's just so many um, And you know there's the macro chord button down here as well on over alt 
Uh, so yeah, really good in that sense for those people that are going to use it. Now lighting wise, uh, so it's got this orange lighting which does look quite nice. It doesn't go too bright, but it's very, very limited. Um, you can adjust the brightness and not much else. So these days, it might have just been because I've been kind of spoiled, I guess, because I've been reviewing a lot of RGB keyboards lately, or at least uh, like ones where you can color mix, like Ducky's ones where it's kind of like dual color and you can mix uh, the, the red and blue together and get, you know, really blue, really red and everything in between, pink and all that. Um, so maybe I'm just a bit spoiled, but personally I thought it was very lacking. Um, although considering the price, uh, I, I don't know what I expect really. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit lacking. The LEDs at the top here, the indicator LEDs, they can be hard to see too. If you kind of, depending on the angle you're sitting at and how high your desk is in that, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but they can hide behind the F keys. They're very close behind the F keys, and the, the keyboard's very short on the top here, so you can see it comes in, so that you can kind of not see them sometimes. Maybe if you slouch down in your chair a lot, um, you might not be able to see them, which is another thing. Uh, so that takes us to software and features, and not much to say here. <laughs> uh, the software has nothing in it. It's very basic. It's just for setting up the macro keys. Obviously, there's nothing to do on the lighting. That's about it, really. You can adjust the lighting using the FN and uh, 8 and 2 keys, um, the brightness that is, but that's about it. The, if you're not going to be using macros, if you're not going to be using the macro keys, then there's no point getting a software, and as I said before, it kind of makes me wonder why you would get this keyboard um, a little bit. So that's going to take us to the overall, because it's not there really that much more to discuss with this. Oh, as I said around the back, I should show you guys. Uh, you can lift it up more. The pads, the rubber pads on the back are very small, so that's something that some people have complained about, um, that I've heard, that it can slide around uh, when it's up on the clips as well, that's another issue. Personally with me it's not uh, so much of an issue because I have uh, a Razer Goliath mouse pad, you know the ones that are huge and you set your keyboard on them as well, the whole keyboard on it. Uh, so that was an issue with me at all, but it, I have heard of it being an issue, so that might be depending on the material your disc is made out of or what it's actually sitting on. So yeah, overall, uh, it's huge, uh, the layout's still pretty good though, it's a bit dull, but um, it's alright, and, and it's very solidly built, so that's really good. You're not going to have any problems with this breaking, I would imagine, you know, it feels very solid, there's no flexing, it's really good. Now, a great choice of mechanical keys, as I said before, uh, Cherry mixes are the best, hands down, um, Blue's obviously my favourite, so that worked out really good too, but it uh, comes in, yeah, red, black, and browns also. There's also all the macro keys, which are, you know, there's 21 of them, so there's plenty there. Great anti-ghosting. Um, so, yeah. Lighting is just pretty average. It's, it's very limited. It doesn't go too bright. Um, it's just okay. I mean, it's it's at least there, but, you know, it's okay. One thing I will say that, that kind of... Oh, that's uncanny. I just realized I have a Strix 970 in there. This is my world. I'm not actually kidding. Sometimes I forget what graphics cards I have in my system. I change them so much. But I was going to say that there's only white lighting on the Strix um, graphics cards, and that's for the power connector to let you know that it's actually plugged in if you pull that out. You know, obviously no one is running, but um, when it's off, it'll actually go red um, to let you know that that power connector is not connected. Um, just something to throw out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so lighting pretty average. Eh, it'll get you by. Now, who do I recommend this for then? So, if you're an MMO player that requires macro keys or really wants macro keys, then this would be perfect for you. Um, Price-wise, it's coming in at Playtech right now. I believe it's about two hundred and nine dollars. So, it's pretty good. That's that's for what this is. That's pretty decent, I think. I don't think it's too expensive. I don't think it's cheap either. But I think it's decent. It's about where it should be. Um, yeah, so, so the macro keys will make it really good for MMO players or MOBA players. Um, if you're going to actually remember to use them, then it'll be excellent. There's heaps. Um, it should be very good for you. For other people that, say, are uh, not going to be using the macro keys, FPS players or just users that don't use macro keys, I'd have a hard time recommending this over some of Ducky's lineup, honestly. Um, yeah, or, or other products. It... it 
it just, I, I can't really recommend it for it. It would still be a solid keyboard, but there's a lot wasted. You're kind of missing one of the main features. So I can't really recommend it for that. Although if you do go for it, any, um, it's still going to do you very well. And obviously it's still got cheering MX keys. It's going to still be very solid. Um, but I would probably recommend you go more towards the, uh, the ducky line because that should do it a bit better for you. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already because it helps me out. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.